There's rarely a dull moment at Orrin Moor, one of the gems in Glasgow's entertainment scene. It might be said that Orrin Moor's a small street in its own right. It's got a theatre, it's got a bar, it's got a restaurant, it's got a nightclub and it's got an auditorium and all manner of things. So you've really got all things in the one building. This former church in Glasgow's West End has evolved into a thriving arts and entertainment venue since opening in 2004. It's perhaps most famous for its lunchtime, a play, a pie and a pint, which now commissions 37 new plays a year across a range of genres from tragedies and monologues to comedies and musicals and, of course, panto. It's here from 1pm for an hour, Monday to Saturday, that the denizens of the West End and beyond can escape to the land of make-believe. It's accessible, the price of play pie and a pint is affordable and um, I suppose uh, the notion was that uh, covering all ranges, but I, I really liked the fact that the lady from North Kelvin side with her lilac tints and your wee chap with his bonnet for Patrick uh, both join together and appreciate what we put forward. Complementing the performing arts at Orrin Moor is the visual arts, introducing folk to the works of Scotland's most talented contemporary artists. I think Alistair Gray's um, ceiling mural has made a big impression on people. Uh, the real thinking behind it is that it's public art and it's not movable, uh, which I think has got high value. Uh, we've got other artists whose work's celebrated here, John Clark's stained glass artist, uh, Adrian Visnescu's Homecoming, Sheila Tandy's um, The Merry Muses of Robert Burns. So I'm really pleased with that, and that adds to the whole experience of Orrin Moor. From dawn to dusk, it's all happening at Orrin Moor, and it wins the Creative Business Award. Down in the market, oh, we can't afford a thing.